Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and in today's video, we're going to be playing some more Call of Duty World War II for you guys. And in today's video, we're also going to be using the brand new DLC gun that I just got, called the MG81. In fact, it's actually this gun right over here on the screen that you guys can see. This thing is really, really cool. This is a really good gun. I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay of it here in today's video. Um, I'm playing on Shipman, just an FYI, so uh, I may die a lot. But, uh, that's to be expected, it's shipment. Everyone dies a lot on this map. Alrighty, so let's talk about this gun. The MG81 is one of the two new DLC guns that was added in with the Shamrock and Awe, or the St. Patrick's Day theme event. This gun is really, really good in my opinion. I think it's one of the better DLC guns that we've actually gotten. This thing has pretty strong damage and pretty decent fire rates. Uh, but don't let the fact that it's an LMG, you know, make you think that it's a bad gun or whatever, because just because it's an LMG and you can't really rush with it or whatever, doesn't mean it's a bad gun. It reminds me a lot of the MG15 LMG that's in the game already. That's, uh, oh shoot, that's gonna kill me if the guy doesn't kill me. But, uh, it reminds me a lot of the MG15 LMG that's in the game that's, uh, you know, really, really strong and good. And, uh, a lot of people, uh, will use that gun, and this gun seems almost exactly like that, but with its, like, own unique twist, like, it just kind of, like, looks a little bit differently. And which, in my opinion, is good, because we don't want to necessarily have a DLC gun that's too strong. Uh, I would say that the strongest DLC gun we've gotten so far is the Volk Sturmgewehr, uh, but that was recently nerfed, thank god. Uh, but this gun definitely is pretty decent. It's worth your time going for it, but it's not like really OP where you have to worry about it. Now, when it comes to this gun in general as a whole, what do I think about it? I think it's a really good gun. I particularly like it a lot. Um, I would definitely say this is one of the best DLC guns that we've actually gotten out of the bunch. Just because if you camp with it and you're strategic with it and you head glitch like this like on shipment like everybody else has been doing, you can do extremely, extremely well. So, uh, I don't recommend rushing with this, because this thing doesn't fire fast enough for you to rush. But I do recommend, you know, like, head glitching with it and strafing with it and all that good stuff, because that will actually end up working out in your favor. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can... get over here. I think my teammates are doing the spawn trap method, because, like, a lot of them are all using LMGs. And, uh, I see a lot, a lot of just teammates in the feed. And we're also getting all objectives. That, that might not be intentional, because usually when you do this spawn trap method, you let them have a flag. But, uh, I really don't care. I'm just surprised that we're actually winning, because usually my teammates are just like, Oh, I'm just gonna completely just ignore the objective altogether and just kill everybody all the whole entire time. And so it's really nice to actually have teammates that are actually doing the objective. Okay, I have armored on. I'm pairing it with this LMG because it makes sense. I have no idea how I'm getting one hit by grenades. I genuinely don't. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, so I'm curious, guys. In the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think about this particular gun. Even if you don't have it, let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Uh, do you think that it's pretty good, pretty mediocre, pretty bad? Uh, let me know in general because I want to know what you guys think about the gun because in my opinion, I really like it and I would like to see what you guys think. I definitely think that the Volk Sturmgewehr is definitely the best gun in the game in terms of DLC guns. Probably definitely one of the top three in terms of actual guns, like in the game as a whole. But uh, this gun is uh, really good and you don't want to underestimate it. 100 to 20. To be honest, I really don't care if we get all of our streaks because uh, I wasn't killing enough people to get the streaks towards the end of the round there, but I really don't care. I just want to just not die repeatedly and just be like, hey guys, this is my one single kill I got every one minute uh, you know, of the game, and I died like 30 uh, times in a row before I got that one kill, you know? Alright, let's rush the B flag and make sure that this spawn trap still keeps working. Cap it! Okay, I don't care. I'm just glad we got it. Alright, let's keep the spawn trap going. Keep in mind that this is with randoms from my team, but they may be partied up, so... I'm not trying to be a, a you know, an a-hole to spawn trap, because I know that that might not be the most fun gameplay to watch, but... This is good old pub stomping back in the day. People used to do this all the time. I know the standards might have changed, and this may be considered, like, easy, but I'm just wanting to have fun, man. I don't want to stress out about it. 
And if you guys are also wondering why it took me so long to make a video on this new LMG and like why I'm doing it so late into the update, it's just because uh, right now I'm playing a crap ton of Fortnite as you guys know based off my uploads. And uh, alongside that I'm occasionally playing like Overwatch and uh, you know sometimes this game. But uh, I said this before at the beginning right before Call of Duty World War 2 and I'll say it again. This game is not going to be a game that I'm going to be playing a, you know, a crap ton like I did back with Sledgehammer's last title, Advanced Warfare, or any of the past Call of Duty games. This is a mediocre Call of Duty game in my eyes, and I'm just going to play it for fun, uh, like any video game should be. And I'm just going to have fun with it, do the stuff that I want to, but not stress out about it. If I'm getting worried about you know stressing out about getting gameplays and having to be first about everything, I'm not going to have fun with it. So I'm just taking my sweet, sweet time and just enjoying the game for what's worth. And so, you know, that way I don't have to worry about it. I am surprised that I actually got all my, well, not my all my kill streaks. I got the first kill streak. I'm running fire carpet bombing run. Uh, paratroopers and the normal carpet bombing run. Just because I feel like the airstrikes would do really well on this map. Because the fire is gonna just, like, completely just coat the map. Wow. Oh, there we go, paratroopers, boys. Let's go. Aw, oh, damn it. I might actually get my streaks after all. Paratroopers, come on in, boys. Please actually just kill something for once, please don't just get one kill and then go away. Or don't, or just please get a single kill at least. There's one. I don't think that I should run paratroopers on shipment anymore, guys. I think out of all the maps, this is the worst. just because they spawn so close to the enemies and, like, it's just easy for them to get shot out of the air because shooting the parachute does kill them. Okay, I'm about to get my last streak. Okay, I did get my last streak. Good thing I ran requisitions because everybody and their mother runs requisi requisitions on this map, but it would make sense for me to do it too. Alright, there we go. Oh, enemies, I got a gift for you! And just so I don't kill myself, I'm gonna hide in the crate. Just, I'm just waiting for the destruction to come. There we go! Quad feed! On go- OH GOD! I, I almost said on go, well I did say on go and oh my god at the same time, so it came down as like, on mo! Why are you all hiding in there? Come on, reload. This gun has pretty decent damage in my opinion. So I think that this gun is probably the, one of the strongest out of all the LMGs. The fire ray is just the only thing that's making it very hard to use this thing, because uh, if people rush me, I can't get enough bullets out in time. This gun reminds me a lot of the Gorgon from Black Ops 3, high damage, slow fire rate, although it's a compromise between the two, lower damage, faster fire rate. So far I'm 40 and 20, I'm even. Which surprises me. Because normally on shipment here, like this version of shipment, you tend to die a lot. A lot, a lot. In my opinion, I would have to say this is the worst version of shipment that we've had. Because we've had four versions of shipment in Call of Duty. We've had COD 4 shipment, MWR shipment. Believe it or not, there was a remake of it in Ghosts. Uh, it was like called uh, Showdown, I think. Uh, and that was actually like the biggest version of shipment because they actually opened the map up and made it bigger. Uh, that was the only time that ever was changed though in terms of its like size. And then we have the Call of Duty World War II version of shipments. In my opinion, I would just say that this has to be the worst version of shipment for like one reason. The one reason alone is just because the fact, well there's actually multiple reasons but let me explain all the reasons just really quickly in summary. The first reason is that out of all the Call of Duty games, uh, this one has support lethal streaks. So, like, it's very easy for you guys to get kills, like, with requisitions and everything. Ghosts had something kind of like support streaks, but at least they were all, like, non-lethal kill streaks. Uh, and then with this game, there's also a whole bunch of, like, like strong guns and grenade spam and everything. Like, COD 4 and MWR, minus the exception of MWR DLC guns, uh, the guns were not really strong in that game. And then Ghosts, like... Ghost had good hit detection, so it may have felt like you died, but the guns were really weren't that OP in there either. 
And plus, also, since it was bigger, it prevented the spawn trapping. So, when you combine requisitions, uh, you know, kind of, like, really chaotic and, like, strong guns, and also the fact that there's also sweats on here, just because it's the newest Call of Duty, this definitely makes this the worst version of shipment, but it'll probably get better over time. But the reason why I'm dealing with all the spawn campers and the spawn trappers and everything is just because this is the only decent map in the game, really. I, I, I can't stand most of the default maps in this game. I can't stand USS Texas, can't stand Gustav. It's just, it, I just can't stand those maps, man. Alright, well, anyways, guys, this is going to be today's video. I hope that you guys end up enjoying. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I hope that God this doesn't corrupt on me. If, if you guys don't see this, you, I guess you, you know they're corrupted or whatever, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.